This conference will now be recorded. So we'll be starting our next topic, that is SAP navigation. So navigation in SAP. So the topics that we are going to cover there, we will see SAP GUI icon. Then we will understand how to log on to SAP. SAP easy access screen for all modules. Menu path for transactions. SAP screen structure, how the SAP screen structure looks like. Then how to add favorite transactions. Then we will see types of fields. Okay. Then uh, we will understand how to work with multiple SAP sessions. Okay. Then field help F1 and F4, how to use this one. Technical name display. And finally, how to log out from the system. So these are the topics we will be covering in the SAP navigation, okay? So first we'll, we'll talk about logging onto the SAP system. So to log on to the SAP system, first you should have SAP logon pad onto your system. This should be installed onto your uh, laptop or desktop, okay? So once you have this, you need to double click on it. The moment you double click on it, you will get this screen okay here you need to select the server okay and then you have to click on the log on button when you click on log on button it will give you this screen to enter your user id and password okay so then you will be provided with a user id and password that you need to enter so this is the procedure to log on to sap first is click on the log on pad double click on the log on pad you will get this log on pad screen you need to select the server to which you want to log in. So the system which you want to log in, select it and click on log on button. Then you will get one more window to enter your user ID and password. Okay, so now let's see this. So if you see here on my on my laptop, you see the SAP logon pad is already installed. You see, so now just double click on it. The moment you double click on it, you will get this one. I want to log on to this server, S4 HANA system. Just select that, double click. Okay, or, or one more thing you can do is select the one and just click on this button. There is a button, log on, you see? Small button, log on, click on that. You will be getting this screen. Okay, so here it will ask you to enter your user ID and password. Okay, so now you have to enter your user ID. I am entering my user ID and password. Okay, and enter. The moment you enter, you will be getting this screen. This is called SAP Easy Access Screen. Okay, so this is the one. The moment you log in, you will be getting this screen. SAP Easy Access Screen. It is nothing but initial screen. It is like an initial screen. Okay, so where you will have all the transaction codes. You will have this. This is the initial screen, which is nothing but SAP easy access screen. Okay. So now we will talk about navigating in the SAP system. Okay. So basically the SAP screen structure uh, to navigate in the SAP system, we have three options. Okay. One is you can use the standard menu path, menu path, okay, to perform a transaction, okay, to perform a function, or you can use favorites list favorites we will discuss about these favorites in a minute or you can use menu menu system menu this one i will show you this also or you can enter the transaction code directly in the command field in the command field. so we have three options one is going through the entire menu path or using the command field or using the menu option menu. so now let's say we will i'll show you this so the first one, let's say I want to create a notification or let's say I want to create a maintenance order. Okay, maintenance order. So to create that, what you can do, you have to go through this menu path. You need to, here you see there is a folder called logistics. Open this folder. Okay, go to plan maintenance subfolder. Open this. Then here you have maintenance processing. Open this folder. 
okay here you have order open this folder this one iw31 create gender select that double click now it will take you to that particular function transaction create maintenance order create order means maintenance order. so one option is you can go through this entire menu path you can go through this entire menu path. okay this is one option another option is if you know the transaction code you can directly enter in this command field here you see on the top there is a command field this is called command field this box here if you know the transaction code you can directly enter iw30 once you enter click on this button enter button it will take you to the same 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 transaction okay so we have two options another one is to perform some some functions you have to use this one system this option these menus these ones on the top you see menu edit favorites extras system help you can use these ones okay so these are the three options to navigate in the scp system okay now we will continue now we will talk about sap screen structure how the sap screen structure looks like okay suppose okay suppose let's say uh, i will uh, what you call i will create a notification oh, sorry i w21 i'll create i'll try to create a maintenance notification okay suppose if i select this one m1 i'm just showing you how the sap screen structure looks like here if you see maintenance notification so here you see it will contain one is command field which, which we just discussed the command field this is called command field we just discussed okay next one tabs tab pages okay so in the tab pages you will have the subscripts okay so this one here if you see this documentation is a tab address is a tab logon data is a tab these are called tabs in these tabs you will have the subscripts this is called subscript here you see start menu is a subscript spool control is a subscript personal time zone is a subscript these are called subscript under the tabs you have subscripts okay so this is the if you see here notification is a tab reference object is a tab mall function breakdown is a tab location data is a tab now under this tab you have subscripts so this reference object is a subscript okay here if you see under the notification this reference object this is just one subscript responsibilities this is a subscript okay subject this is a subscript these are called subscripts reference object responsibilities subject under the tab these are tabs these are called tabs okay so command field we just discussed tab page a tab page a tab page comprises of several screen areas organized as tabs for clarity and ease of access okay so that is tab page so tab page will contain screen areas subscripts nothing but the subscripts and these are called input fields functional location is a input field where you need to enter the data equipment is a field assembly is a field these are called input fields okay tab under the tab you have subscreen subscreens will contain input fields okay so that is the input fields are used to enter text or to select a value from a list so in the input fields sometimes you have to select a value from the list here select a value from the list here like like this you can select a value from the list or sometimes you can enter directly text like here test to one two three you can enter text directly for some fields you can enter text directly for some fields you have to text uh, enter the value after selecting from the list like here you function location here you see equipment so these are all input fields okay. Oh, yeah. uh, Nagesh here. Oh, okay. uh, 
ah in the input field hello ah oh, yeah please go ahead yeah yeah in the input field you have selected from the uh, box right from from a list actually correct okay uh -huh. yeah. how are they how they came in this uh, particular uh, list you are talking about this one ah this one this one and this one is from the back end configuration when we go to configuration i will show you okay in the back yeah okay configuration yeah, yeah, okay. okay okay so that is the input fields okay now we will talk about check boxes check boxes and radio buttons sometimes you will be able to see in the transactions you will be able to see sometimes check boxes okay which comes with square box and sometimes you see radio buttons these radio buttons will have circle uh, indicator circle kind of uh, option okay so you have will have check boxes and radio buttons we will understand what is the difference between these two check box check boxes are used with multiple selection fields whereas radio buttons radio buttons are used with single selection fields you can select only one option okay so i will show you so for check box i don't think so we will have it here check box we will not have here check boxes okay let me let me go to a report okay wait on do we have radio buttons here okay just just give me open any report put in the video button option here only you have check boxes not radio buttons okay suppose if you see here you have this check boxes you see here location hierarchy equipment hierarchy you have this check boxes suppose here you can select more than one you see you can select more than one here system is allowing so in case of check boxes you can select more than one system will allow you that that's what here check boxes are used with multiple selection fields so you can select more than one check box system will allow but in case of radio button okay radio button okay let me show you our radio button we don't have radio button so huh? okay i will go to some other transaction now here if you see here this this will show you both uh, radio buttons and check boxes here you see there is a sub screen called type of expansion top down analysis bottom up analysis so in case of radio button suppose already system selected top down analysis if i try to select bottom up analysis also you see automatically system deselecting top down analysis. so in case of radio buttons you can select only one system will not allow you to select more than one that is radio button radio buttons are used with single selection fields you can select only one option that is this one. okay whereas check boxes you can select more than system is allowing okay so that is the difference between check boxes and radio okay so while working on sap you will you will be able to see these things so you should know the difference between check boxes and radio buttons okay so now we will move on next one is favorites menu okay so favorites menu means the transactions which you perform frequently those you can add it as favorites those you can add it as favorites okay so if you have them as favorites no need to remember the transaction code or no need to remember enter the transaction code on your command field so normally in the real time the users the one which they execute frequently those transactions they will add it into this favorites folder okay so now let me show you how to add that suppose let me go back to the main screen easy access screen okay this is a screen initial screen so now here if you see there is a folder called favorites okay so now 
I want to add a transaction as a favorite. Let's say I want to create a notification. 